Good morning, Calico. My name is Noah. I'm Max Herman. Today, Today is Monday, Monday March 23rd, 2023. Please rise for, for a moment of silence and a pledge, pledge to the flag. That wasn't me who said that. It's actually uh, October 18th, 2024. This message is for ninth grade students. Please sign the commitment to graduate banner. It was back ordered and did not arrive for the start of school, as was planned. <laughs> the banner will be in lunches Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We would love for all ninth grade students to sign it so we can hang it in the cafeteria with the rest of the classes. Yeah. Hey, Ephrata. Today is the day FBLA will hold its first meeting during ACT in the Media Center. FBLA provides innovative leadership development programs to bring business and education together in a positive working relationship. Members gain a competitive edge for college and career success. Over a quarter of a million students participate in this dynamic leadership organization. If you cannot attend our first meeting this afternoon, please see Ms. Perez or Ms. Myers for more information. The Peer Tutors Club is now accepting tutoring requests. If you're struggling in one or more of your classes, or would like overall academic support, peer tutoring might be exactly what you need. Tutoring meetings can happen during study halls or act, based on your schedule. To request a tutor, use our Google form. You can find the link in the resources tab of the Schoology Class of Groups, or on the guidance webpage at easdpa.org. You can also ask for a paper copy of the form, at the circulation desk in the media center. We accept tutoring requests any time in the school year until May. It's called Grunkle Stunkle Wins the Funkle Bunkle. <laughs> Oh, if you will be 18 by November 5th, there is still time to register to vote. Every social studies teacher has a poster in front of their room with details about registering to vote in this historic election. So find your favorite social studies teacher and ask them how to register while there is still time. National Chocolate Cupcake Day is every year on October 18th. Chocolate cupcakes were born out of a... Uh, 1796, interesting number, cookbook called American Cookery and have since grown into a worldwide craze and a dessert staple. So let's appreciate all there is about deliciously chocolate cupcakes and the happiness they bring to everyone who enjoys them. It's also Alaska Day, the largest state by area to join the U.S. and its frontier to boot. Alaska, Jesus Christ, Alaska was populated by indigenous people from tribes like Inuit, Yubik, um, Tlingit, and others. <laughs> they hunted and lived on whale fat, beaver, and fish. Then the Russians came and settled in Alaska, leaving only about 68 years of ruling. William... Seward and State Secretary at the time was the main hand behind the purchase. Alaska was purchased for 7.2 million. His championing of the case was prominent. The vast majority of Americans who thought this purchase was a mistake took to calling Alaska Seward's mistake. Then, in the 18th century, two prospectors found gold at the Klondike region and Thus began the gold rush era in Alaska. Numbers indicate upwards of 10,000 fortune seekers that were headed for the gold fields at Klondike and the beaches at Nome in western Alaska. Another place where gold was found, Alaska, remained a territory until it became the 49th state on January 3rd, 1959. Now over to lunch and sports. Hey, buddy. 
macaroni and cheese with whole grain pretzel rod, Jamaican jerk chicken with red beans and rice and whole grain pretzel rod, dunk and dippers, PBJ Uncrustable, fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin, a chef salad with stewed tomato sauce, steamed green beans, fresh cauliflower, and dip, and even applesauce, fresh fruit, or 100% juice slash slushy. Hope you all are having a great, fun, peaceful day. You find me cruel, selfish, and unfeeling? I am. I work without caring what happens to either of us. So go back to the club, bear it all, and stock the kind of people that you enjoy. Hey dodgeball fans, there is still time to sign up to play in the 20th annual Effort of Dodgeball Tournament on Friday and Saturday, November 8th and 9th at the Effort of Senior High School. Proceeds from this event will help fight juvenile diabetes. You can find links to information and a registration form at www.effortamounts.com or see Mr. Guy in Home Room 129 for registration information. Deadline for entry is next Tuesday, October 22nd, which gives you this weekend to collect donations. Each team is responsible for raising at least $126 donations per team with a three-game guarantee. Prizes will be awarded to teams for raising more money, so get your team donation donations in for this year's senior circuit bracket. Today, football is away at Lebanon. Now back to the main desk. Ugh. Many Thons for Diamonds pageant is right around the corner, and we need your help. Use the form posted on School G to nominate any three seniors <coughs> me, that you would like to see as a participant in the pageant this year. Your nomination is not a guarantee, but it will help us ensure we have an amazing group of Fort Diamonds representatives. Thank you for your help in FTK. It is Act Period 5 today. <laughs> have a great, great day, day Ephrata! Ephrata.